hoes is back in this motherfucker. MCA's back once again, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just like last year, we told the. And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Kevin Harlan here alongside Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. DA David Aldridge is on our sideline. DA, take it away. Well, for a team that has the unbridled ambition of the Golden State. Oakland has been a wonderful home for the Warriors, but we know San Francisco will be too. Thanks, D.A. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. The two stars, George and Leonard, fill up the forward slots. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And Harrell's in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Warriors, Green and Cauley Stein are down low. Curry and Russell are the backcourt set. And it's Thompson in at the three spot. Chris, you think back to the Warriors as a franchise when you played for them, both as a rookie and a vet, how have things changed? Well, well I think it's a difference, you know, uh, in the approach from ownership. I think that's huge. But the fans, they've always come out. They've always been some of the best fans in the league. And the Warriors franchise uh, has come so far since being a bottom-dwelling team. Now, here is Russell. Outside Curry. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Curry's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the Warriors. Outside, George. Off target from outside. And here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. It's a three-point game. He's not just a spot-up shooter. Thompson also loves trying his luck on the drive and getting inside. Williams finds Harrell. Leonard on the wing. Outside Williams. Six to shoot. Over Coley Stein. And they turn over the 24 second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Just over a minute played here in the first. Russell against Williams. From 13. And it's Russell missing. Well, I thought that one was going to go down. The mid-range jumpers. Oh, man, that's usually a bunny with the deep playing soft like that. The Warriors have gone 2 or 3 here to start off the game. Dishes it to Curry. Softly drops in the floater. Curry's got five now. Just another tool in the toolbox for Curry. A quick flip over the top. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now, here's George. Harrell with it. Just four to shoot. Leonard to end the run. And that's going to be a treble. Warriors have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Curry against Beverly. Curry passes to Russell, and they double up Russell. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Montrez here. 
And Green still plays with the chip on his shoulder. Should have never have fallen to the second round in the 2012 draft. The Warriors shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, fans around the league love to hate Draymond Green for how outspoken he is. But I honestly believe the hate fuels Green. He loves to play the bad guy. No good on the second free throw. And see, Webb, as you were talking about with Draymond Green, uh, you know, he's embraced the role in the past of villain in the NBA. But he said during the playoffs last year he wants to change his way. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll see. <laughs> Draymond will irk opposing players and fans alike. But that's just the part of what makes him so effective. I mean, he's the ultimate example of a player who you love when he's on your team and you hate when he's not. They were pretty tight to start this game. Started out with four straight misses. Maybe that one will get them going. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Russell against Williams. No good. Nice D from Russell. Warriors leading by five. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Misses off the right iron. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Los Angeles. Passes it to Leonard. Over Curry. Leonard no luck. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. You're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive. Uh, beyond the leaning, you can see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. Los Angeles making a switch here. Shamit's checked in. Now here's Leonard. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Harold, that's good. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. And the shot is good. This is what makes Curry special on the offensive end, the ability to create for himself and others at the highest level of the game. George with no one around. Great look, but off the mark. He's as surprised as anyone with that miss. When he's left alone like that, you can usually count him. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. They get a hand on it. Back to Leonard. Shoots from the corner. There we go. Now in the time scoring column with that make, he is one for four. The players have different ways of leading. Some guys, Chris, are loud and fire. Others let their play do all the talking. What was your opinion? Okay, but it depended on what situation I was in. When I was in Sacramento, I could be the quiet, fiery guy that led from my actions because Vlade uh, was more of a vocal guy and, and we had a really good spirited team, so I didn't need to, to do much uh, besides what we did in practice. In my younger days, when you want to win, you want to get out there and maybe everyone doesn't have the sense of urgency uh, that you do. You're, you're a little bit more vocal, but I, I've always believed that the best leaders, uh, no matter how how well they communicate or, or anything else, the best leaders lead by example. And if uh, you're telling everyone what to do and you're not doing it, uh, usually it falls on deaf ears. So go out there and do it by example first and, and everybody will follow. Good advice. Looney's checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Alfonso McKinney comes in for Green. Len Robinson, the third, is checked in for Thompson. And it's Burks in for D'Angelo Russell. Zubats is checked in for Los Angeles. Jermichael Green comes in for Leonard. Here's Looney. Kicks it to Burks. Pass to Robinson. Five to shoot. 
over George. Great D on that shot, and it's off the mark. Clippers trail by three. The Warriors pull it in. And Curry has it in the corner. Over George, and again, it's the Warriors missing. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. That's not who they want guarding him. I mean, the size mismatch is just too big. All he has to do is just keep attacking the rim. The Clippers shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. That one drops. He ties it up. The Warriors have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Down low, McKinney, and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. It's easy to forget Curry's passing skills. I mean, he's proven he's more than a scorer. He's also a solid distributor. Beverly finds Shemp. On deep, connects from three-point range. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now, here's Burks. D right on him. Curry shot is off. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Outside, George. A three pointer, no good. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. To the inside. Robinson misses. He's not an easy man to stop when he's attacking the basket. The D doing everything he can. George passes to Beverly. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Zubac kicks to Shannon. It doesn't go for him. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Yeah, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. He's trying to force something is rarely a good idea. Oh, they've tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Warriors on top. They lead by a bucket. Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Great Golden State Warrior scores. Draymond Green spoke about beating the hot hand. I think there are times where one of the guys need to take more shots, and sometimes to where we can be a little bit too unselfish. You know, if one guy thinks, hey man, I'm taking too many shots, let me get someone else involved. But if you got it going, we all want you to shoot. Yeah, why not? Green knows that, Greg, if, if you're in the zone, keep firing. And with his unselfishness and vision, Green, more often than not, is the one setting the table. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game? Uh, stats one. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. We've got Alec Burks. He's out there with Steph Curry. Looney out there with Robinson. And it's McKinney in at the power forward. That's the Warriors' five. Lou Williams has checked in for the Clippers. Pass to McKinney. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists in the game. Williams kicks to Shannon. Zubat. It's rebounded by Golden State. Uh, come on. You, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They're going to get away with that next time. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. And the D is struggling to keep up. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. 
That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut back down to two points on the basket from Green. And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. Now here's Curry. Ten points for him. And Jamichael Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Glenn Robinson the third. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Leonard's checked in. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Now, Burks. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Green. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the Clippers get called for the foul. Good recognition by Draymond. I mean, he sees that he has a defender right where he wants him. Oh, she broke. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Good shot selection, largely dependent on getting open. Which players do the best job of moving, you think, right now without the ball? Period. Klay Thompson, 60 points, 11 dribbles. Did you hear me? I 60 got it. points, Shocking. 11 dribbles. It almost looks He's like a mystery, sick. doesn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Poked away. It's stolen by Curry. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldrin. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. But players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. Some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. Trying to find some answers offensively. Bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Dishes to Green. And there's the pass to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Fires from the line. The Warriors pull it in. Collie Stein's got four rebounds in this game. Golden State moving it around. The shot by Thompson, no good. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that, anyway. it to Shamit. Leonard with the ball. He's guarded by Russell. Fader on the way. And the Clippers miss again. Warriors leading by six. Thompson right side. Green with the rebound. Really tough night for him offensively. I mean, I wonder what the score would be if he wasn't so cold from the field. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Harold. With good length and instincts, Kali Stein could be sure to throw opponents off their game. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Lou Williams. The thing about Curry you have to admire, Greg, he never wants the spotlight to himself, even as a leader of his team. 
He always wants his teammates to shine as well. You think back to when Clay was trying to break Curry's three-point record last season? Shooting two. Curry was not only cheering for him, but actively setting him up to make it happen. That camaraderie Curry shows is why his teammates love him. And he knocks down the first one. Well, everyone has already agreed that Curry is a generational talent and one of the greatest shooters of all time. I mean, at this point, he is just climbing up the all-time list in NBA history. I mean, it's a robust resume. Stephen Curry hits them both. And with Curry, the titles, the unanimous MVPs, Chris, it's hard to argue he's not one of the best ever. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, what, what stands out to me is just how much he's changed the game. I mean, when you alter how teams approach the game and how kids practice at home, he's made the three just as big as the dunk. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. The Warriors have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. One shot. That's good from Green. And we've seen stars Chris get suspended in the playoffs for having seven technical fouls. Can we modify that rule at all, do you think? You know, I, I think it can be tweaked uh, if everyone agrees on it. But, but for me personally, I don't think that we've had enough uh, superstar players get suspended with that rule to say let's change the number. We definitely want superstar players to play in the playoffs, to play for their fans. But, but we also want to keep the integrity of the game. And, and if technicals means uh, I get to yell at the referee more, well, then maybe I just have to have more uh, discipline on my end and say, wait a minute, I can't do this mm -hmm. because it's going to hurt the team. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that yet. And the first one drops. And Williams is sort of the classic instant offense guy. Whether he's coming off the bench or starting, he can provide a spark whenever they need one. drops them both. Uh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a coach. Curry on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. Let's it go with a three. And another three for Golden State. And great job from beyond the arc this quarter. They are now shooting the three at almost 60% for the game. He kicks to Hero. Shamit on the wing. Knocks it loose. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Willie Cauley Stein. The Clippers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Beverly, he's checked in for the Clippers. Good on both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Thompson. There's the triple. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. Leonard's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Williams. Back to Leonard. Over Russell. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Kawhi Leonard. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Now here's Thompson. Outside, Russell. Shot clock at six. Back to Cauley Stein. From deep, three 
three-point range, and it's the Clippers with the rebound. Harrell's got rebound number five here tonight. 133 left here in the second. Cloak loose. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Harrell. Green finds Thompson. Now here's Cauley Stein. He's covered by Leonard. Outside, Russell. Lock at six. Beverly against Russell. Pass to Leonard. Thompson with the rebound. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Now here's Cauley Stein. Now the dish to Thompson. Six to shoot. Here's Russell with the three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Los Angeles. They trail by nine points. And there's the call on Curry. That'll be his second foul of the game. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kavon Looney comes in for Cauley Stein. Robinson is subbed in for Steph Curry. And then for the Clippers, Ivica Zubats has checked in for Jermichael Green. And it's George in for Williams. Now here's Harrell. And the pass to Zubats. Now here's Beverly. Down to five on the shot clock. Drops in the layup for two. Beverly's got four this quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Russell. Passes it to Thompson. From outside the arc. That shot off the mark. And so it's the Golden State Warriors bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. What a defensive effort they put on Kawhi Leonard. It's rare to see him have the kind of trouble he's had tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Clay, how do you evaluate the first half? You know, they clogged the lane, and um, they play great held defense. Uh, we got to keep uh, driving and kicking, doing a great job of sharing the ball, and we just play ourselves. It will be great in the second half. We'll see if that ball can get to the weak side. Thanks, Clay. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 18 points, four assists, and one steal. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Well, the perimeter shooting is the reason they're ahead. I think we'll probably see more of that in the second half, especially if they can stay hot. Man, that's so hot, I gotta take my suit off. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. Well, they shot under 40% in the first half. There's your deficit. They missed some open looks, wide open. But overall, I thought the offense was stacked. Look for their coach to draw up some specific plays to try to jumpstart them in the second half. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. of you just tuning in. Thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp and guys are hitting the shot. Clippers trail by seven. So for the Clippers right now, they're down low at four with Harrell in the middle. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's George in at the small forward. Now here's Harrell. Outside Williams. Four on the clock. A three-pointer off the mark. If you can't hit that one, your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Out to Russell. 
screen inside. He's guarded by Williams. Thompson from long range. Nailed from three-point land. And in Thompson's career, he hits well over 40% of his threes. That's remarkable consistency from range. Williams looking over the floor. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. Now, here's Curry. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Yeah, one of the best things about Klay Thompson, he's just an incredibly easy teammate to play with. He moves great without the ball. He doesn't need it in his hands to score. I mean, he looks to make that extra pass. You got to love it. Here's Russell following the score by Lou Williams. From deep, and there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Russell. Russell's got four assists now tonight. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. To him, Greg, the basket looks as big as the ocean right now. I mean, that's how easy he's making it look. Now, here's Beverly. Seven points in the game. Good. Beverly's got nine. And with Thompson, all those things you mentioned, C. Webb, about him or why he's such a good fit with Curry. Yeah, really, anyone like Clay who doesn't need the ball to be effective as he needs to play with. With the lack of ego on him to defer the spotlight to other stars constantly, it says so much about Clay. But don't sleep, though. He has the confidence to light you up at any time. And D'Angelo Russell was expected to be targeted this past summer. Ends up as a sign and trade to the Warriors. Was going to leave Brooklyn after the Durant signing no matter what. Should be an interesting fit. He throw good, Russell. Being a lottery pick often comes with high expectations. But Russell has shaped into a quality NBA player. Alfonso McKinney has checked in for the Warriors. Burks comes in for Steph Curry. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Shamit's checked in. And so Beverly will bring it up for Los Angeles. 11-point game. Leonard, that's for two. The offensive rebound. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Clippers shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Free throws, good for Harold. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Russell against Beverly. Russell passes to Burks. Golden State moving the ball around. Russell, no good. George up top. To the wing right side. to Beverly. Just five to shoot. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Russell kicks to Burks. Back to Russell. And it's Paul George with the foul. That's his first foul. And the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Zubats is checked in for Harold. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Leonard. Here's George. 
That one doesn't go. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Zubats against Burks. And the rejection by Zubats. And that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Robinson's checked in for the Warriors. Green, he's checked in for the Clippers. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Looney passes to Robinson. Knocked away. Paul George with the steal. Uses the glass to finish the layup. George has got five points so far. And hustle paying off there for George in the open court. Gets up court in a flash and finishes before the D. Can even react. Now here is Robinson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And the rejection by Zubats. Pass to Shamit. Back to Beverly. Here's the floater. George fires. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Now just a five-point Warrior lead. The Warriors have gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvement, sir. Burks finds Russell. Over Beverly. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Burks. Seven points for D'Angelo Russell. Because of his size and how he can adjust, Russell really proficient at hitting the contested J. Here's George. George missing again. Warriors leading by seven. Russell passes to Burks. Back to Russell. Burks with it. Robinson for three. A shot missing. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. And it's Shamit missing. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Go on, you can't be selfish. You gotta be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, you're just predictable. Got a piece of it. In the corner, it's Robinson. Five on the clock. Over green. Robinson misses. Clippers trail by seven. 112 left here in the third quarter. Now Shamit to the paint. Here's Zubats and the dunk by Zubats. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Now a timeout called by Golden State. He's checked in for Alec Burks. And Curry subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Williams is checked in. Now here's Thompson. He's got five. Pass to Looney. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And if they're thinking they can get a two-for-one here. You just have to manage the clock correctly. Or sometimes it's easier said than done if you also want to get a good look. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. And the rejection by Zubats. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's George. It's good. 
And now just a three-point Warrior lead. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Curry against Williams. Here's Curry over Williams. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Warriors lead by three. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, it's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Warriors leading by three. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Looney out there with Cauley Stein, and it's Robinson in at the three spot. That's the Warriors five. Now here is Robinson. There's the pass to Curry. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Drills the three-pointer. Thompson's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Warriors. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Now, here's Curry. Top of the key, Looney. Back to Curry. They double team Curry. Passes to Looney over George. And Willie Cauley Stein gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. Raymond Green, who's checked in for Golden State. D'Angelo Russell comes in for Robinson. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Zubas. Clippers trail by four. Williams finds Harrell. Here's George. In the corner. Shamit with it. Here's the three. Knocks down the three ball. Shamit's got five points now in the quarter. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Curry outside. Rebound by Harrell. Harrell's got nine rebounds now tonight. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Stolen by George. And even three-on-three -three break. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They trail by one. Let's it go from deep. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by George. Los Angeles making a switch here. Beverly's checked in. On the wing, Thompson. He's guarded by Williams. Thompson misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. He'd better be on his best Take behavior from now Take on. One more flagrant Two of shot. any variety, and he's out of here. First free throw is good. Many thought the Raptors or Lakers would land Kawhi, but in the end, he came to the Clippers to write his own legacy. Returning to Southern Cal, where he grew up, was a big part of his decision 
The big surprise was how Kawhi was out recruiting other stars behind the scenes to join him with the Clippers. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Beverly, the pass to Harold. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. That's good from Harold. And he can't hit the second. He's not happy about the miss, but he did make it a two possession hit. Russell. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Los Angeles leading by four. Beverly wide open. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. And there's been a drop-off in their defense since halftime. I mean, they don't nearly have the same energy they did in the first half. Timeout called the Warriors. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they'd like to reverse. David Aldridge. Hey guys, well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He said, look, you guys are playing physical and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. No, doing anything they can to stop the bleeding, but so far they've had no answer. It's stolen by Green. Back to Russell. Golden State moving it around. Pass to Thompson. Trying to get something going. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And 11 points for Clay Thompson. George looking over the floor. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. Beverly, outside Leonard, and he banks in the layup. Leonard's got four points this quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Barry's the long-range jumper. He has got to do something to take away his three-point shots. He's been knocking it down all night. Pass to Harold. to Beverly. Takes it to here. Just five on the clock. Back to Beverly. On the arc. The Warriors pull it in. Crawley Stein's got his fifth rebound in this one. And they've had the edge in rebounding all night long and, and none bigger than that one right there. The pass to Thompson. 
Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Now, just a one-point Clipper lead. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Coley Stein against Harrell. Back to Beverly. Shot clock at six. Pulls up on the elbow. And it's George missing. Crucial possession with time ticking down. He had opportunity to take the lead on this possession. They now take the lead. Well, he doesn't always show a lot of emotion, but Thompson with an assassin's mentality. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. 127 left in the game. Leonard looking around. Leonard missing. They know they can't give him that shot. The D's all over. Not even giving him an inch of space. And the rejection by Harold. And here comes Leonard leading the pass break. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Russell kicks to Thompson. Pass to Kirk. Outside, Russell fires from deep. The Clippers with the rebound. His bad night from the field is only going to get worse if he keeps throwing up shots like that. Los Angeles with another miss. Green dishes to Kirk. Here's Thompson. It's in! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They know they can count on him to make two shots. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by three. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the final quarter. got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Harold finds Leonard. Passes it to George. Right between the eyes. A tremendous three to tie it up. And there's never been any question about George's three-point range. He just goes through stretches where he knocks down the three at a ridiculous rate. Timeout called the Warriors.
left in the fourth quarter. And here is Curry. From deep. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. weren't enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. And the Clippers looking at who they've got. Janet and George at the two and the three. And they're down low at four with Harrell in the middle. And it's Beverly in at the one spot. Now, here is Russell. Following the miss by Montrez Harrell. Now, here is Russell. Shot clock at five. Back to Curry. Not three off the mark. Well, they get away with it here, but that's not a shot you should ever be giving him. Beverly and trying for the go-ahead basket it doesn't go in great action here if you're just joining us about one minute into OT from 13 Thompson with the bucket Thompson's got the first points here in the overtime period for the Warriors uh, this shot certainly in Thompson's arsenal I mean he keeps the defense guessing and the Clippers call time here they're down by two. 153 left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. time here just over a minute into overtime here's the teardrop and it's Beverly missing and the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender yeah you can see why he's established that reputation strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. now here is Russell two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul it's going to be on Montrez Hero. I've seen smaller guys who are afraid to contact. Sometimes stuff he invites. Two shots. first and that makes it a three-point lead it's hard to believe that some teams passed on curry in the 2009 draft i mean this guy is the total package he has a winner's mentality so he gets them both and it's a four-point ball game getting it done at the line as he usually does and that could be huge in a tight game like this one against Green. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
When he was in high school in California, Kawhi won the state's Mr. Basketball Award. And you look at the list of guys who've won that award over the years, it has a lot of the all-time greats on it. Free throw is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. And now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws. One possession game now. Timeout called the Warriors. They're up by two. 116 left in the first overtime. continue to attack and it's not about running up the score it's about closing the door on any kind of comeback los angeles calls timeout they're trailing by four there's 18 seconds left to play in the first overtime guys your thoughts yeah trying to get back in this thing they need a score yeah and quick no room for error no time to waste George against Thompson. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul called on the Golden State Warriors.
shooting two. He hits the first one, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Free throws, good for Paul George. Timeout called the Warriors. They're leading by two. There's 14 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. First one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ballgame. You've got to figure those are the free throws that officially put this game out of reach. Harrell with it. Back to Leonard. They get the rebound. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and, and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Clay, what is the key to the way you play tonight? Well, I'm just used to the uh, pace of the game by now, and my teammates do a good job of finding me when I'm open, so all credit goes to them. I, I just catch and fire when I'm open. And they found the shooter, and he shot. Thanks, Clay. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA. Presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, the nigga holds us back in this motherfucker. MCA's back once again, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just like last year, we told the girls, talking about they was there. Say the drama for your mom. CMW caused the trauma.